Minnesotans continue to show their support for Ukraine as Russia persists with its deadly war inside the country. More on efforts here at home in a second. But first, Ukrainians brace for another night of assaults after a day of violence with Russian troops closing in on the capital of Kyiv. The invasion began on Thursday and already the United Nations estimates more than 150,000 Ukrainians have left to neighboring countries. Ukraine's president insists the country's fight will go on as he presses for help. Cities around the globe are holding rallies in support of Ukraine. And this is a live look at one here at home, getting underway right now at the Lowry Bridge in Minneapolis. This bridge and other landmarks in the Twin Cities are lighting up in blue and yellow again tonight in solidarity. Local Ukrainians are coming together through faith and tradition as well. A group gathered at St. Michael's and St. George's Ukrainian Orthodox Church in Minneapolis to take part in an Easter tradition. WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell shares how a centuries-old art form is giving them hope for the future. As soon as we are taught to learn how to write with a pencil, we were taught at home how to make piss and kiss. Using melted beeswax and an open flame. And you melt the wax to work through the funnel. Helena Yar Alexjin finds a moment of peace. This is probably the first time I'm not really immersed in the news because I'm focusing on each line. People of all ages gathered to make Ukrainian Easter eggs, a symbolic and intricate tradition passed down generations. We said, do we continue to do this event today? Do we have to? This is what they're trying to take away from us, our cultural identity. For many, the invasion of Ukraine is a reminder of a painful past. To now be the new generation that is witnessing yet another bombardment of Russia invading Ukraine is to us exactly what our parents and our grandparents had to deal with. But through art and faith, the community is standing together. We cannot be there close to our brothers and sisters in Ukraine, but we are trying to do all we can to help them, to support them in this difficult time. Keep peace, not only outside, but inside finding solace in traditions as they hope for a brighter future. They're going to fight to their death. They're not going to let our Ukraine go. That gives me hope. In Minneapolis, the world is shouting and they're starting to listen. Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. And if you would like to help the people of Ukraine, we've posted a list of organizations collecting resources. You will find that at WCCO.com slash help Ukraine.